Oh, man. I, I Yesterday, my life was like the tail of – it was the you know what it was? It was the balance of the universe. I just had like a great morning, and then the end of the day just ended up being totally fucked up. Like, listen to this shit. Last night, I go down to uh, Lago, and I do a spot, and um, – and I'm not going to lie to you, I was up there, I was being an idiot. But like, you know, a lovable idiot. Just saying dumb shit, right? I was up there, I was talking about, you know, fucking whatever you want to talk about. I was talking about it and I was being a fucking idiot. So the show ends and a buddy of mine and a woman that he knows, they were there. So we hung out and we shot the shit for like 45 minutes, right? So as I go to leave... um. I come outside, I go out to the parking lot or whatever, and, uh, you know, somebody said, oh, there's a couple people waiting for you out there. So I figured it was, you know, fucking Star Wars fans, you know, somebody out there with, like, uh, you know, Princess Leia dress or some shit. I don't know what the fuck was going to happen. So I walk out there, and I just see two regular people. So I figured they wanted a picture. So I go, hey, how you doing? I go, did you enjoy the show? And the woman bows her head, and she goes, I didn't. And I just go, well, guess what? I don't give a fuck. (laughs) I go, Jesus Christ. There was eight other fucking people on the fucking show. I'm so sick of this fucking bullshit. Just, you know, the whole fucking world's going to hell and you're going to get mad about a comedy show. What are you you fucking standing there for 45? I'm walking to my car doing this. What what are we having a fucking exit interview? And I get in the car and I drive away and she's still standing there with a giant boyfriend and I'm thinking, like, she's going to throw something at my car or whatever. And I drove away. I was like, what the fuck was that? Jesus fucking Christ, right? So somebody who works down there calls me up. He goes, uh, yeah, listen, I think you had a misunderstanding uh, last night with an audience member. Uh, she said you missed her. <laughs> I guess. I am so fucking embarrassed. I think when I said, did you enjoy the show? She said I did, but I fly helicopters and play drums and I heard I didn't. And then I just fucking cursed her out. <laughs> and I left. I am so fucking embarrassed. Or maybe because I heard she was the one that shushed the drunk in the crowd. And when she shushed, it was really quiet in the crowd. So it was a joke. I'm like, why are you shushing? They can't get any fucking quieter in here. I'm eating my red balls up here, right? So maybe she said I didn't, and she was going to say because there was some drunk guy who wouldn't shut up next to me. I just like, yeah. So we're tracking her down. (laughs) Oh, my God. I mean, this is like a bad sitcom episode. You know, I thought you said left. I went, wow, it's Zadie. So, I mean, how do you make up for that? I'm going to have to go over her house and fucking man the grill at a cookout, you know? Is that that hack from Comedy Central? Yes, it is. What's he doing? You know him? No. He just told me to go fuck myself after a show when I was hanging out to ask if I could get a picture. Why would he do that? Because he can't hear anymore. So my apologies to that woman and her giant boyfriend who should have fucking body slammed me on the hood of my car. Um, yeah, so that happened. Uh, but the beginning of the day was great. People, I'm going to track her down. I'm going to find her. I still remember what she looks like. Even though she had a mask on, I still know what she looks like. Um, Oh, my God. My buddy, who also plays drums, he heard it the same way. So we were just fucking going off on her, talking on the phone the whole ride home. He goes, what the fuck do these people expect? (laughs) Two fucking deaf guys walk out of a club. She bowed her head. Like, I thought she was going into that, you hurt my feelings thing that I'm just, you know, I I mean, I don't know. It's like I'm fucking sitting here. I'm looking outside and all the trees are all turning like brown really quickly. And the weather that's going on, like these fucking weathermen, like, I don't know, like what kind of drugs are they on as they're doing the weather? And they're not literally screaming at the fucking camera going, guys, what are we doing? Stay home today or, or, or some, what, we got to solve this global warming thing. I mean, like it, tomorrow it's, Today, I guess when this podcast comes out, it's going to be like dangerously hot in so much parts of the country, right? And uh, that's what my thought goes when someone complains about like a comedian's act, you know? I was at the gym today, right? 
And on every TV screen, they have CNN on. And I'm just sitting there going like, I'm trying to get away from this shit. And for like, I'm doing my Hindu squats, shown to me by Andrew Themelis. I'm up to three sets of 25, get really winded. I feel good about it though, right? Now everybody's Googling Hindu squats. In the background, uh, they're showing footage of the armed SWAT team that came in to stop some school shooter. And they go, this is going to be graphic just to let you know if you're really sensitive. And ev- the sound was down, but evidently you could hear the screaming children in the background. And I was just looking at it going like, "How do? what the fuck? What does this do for anybody other than try to get another psycho out there to do some shit like that? And then secondly, they're actually making money showing that fucking footage. It's the worst fucking thing in the fucking world, those 24-hour news networks, whether they wear red ties or blue ties. And that shit is fine, right? No one gives a fuck about that. But I go down and do one bit about fucking X, Y, and Z, and all of a sudden I got somebody standing in an alley that I misheard. Um, anyway, um, I will not rest until I find that woman and apologize to her face. I feel so fucking horrible about that. Hopefully you're listening. I apologize. I thought you said I didn't. You know, and I'm not going to lie to you. You were a white chick, so I was like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, fucking, you know, old Kathy Cul-de-sac is going to come here with their fucking feelings, and I'm going to have to listen to this bullshit. You know, I, I mean, I, I said a lot of, you know, think it back. I mean, I, 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 I went pretty hard last night, you know, but I was being an idiot. All right. What did I talk about last night? Uh, you know what you talked about. Um, anyway, uh, but my new stand-up special, Bill Burr, live at Red Rocks, di- uh, directed by Mike Binder, uh, came out um, yesterday, two days ago, if you're listening to this on Thursday. Oh, I guess you will be because that's when it's going to be posted. And uh, evidently, it's, it's, it's doing great. I'm very excited. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, I also got nominated for an Emmy. So thank you to Tyler Falbo, uh, the Roku Network, and everybody go out and watch A Moral Compass. I don't know why I got nominated because I'm going to tell you right now, Al Madrigal and, uh, and Vince Vaughn with Bobby Lee. I mean, for my money, you know, that's where it's at on that thing. So uh, who knows? Maybe because I was wearing a wig. He really reached deep down for that character. Um, so anyways, thank you to the brilliant Tyler Favo and everybody else that worked on, everybody over at ATC, Mike Bertolina, everybody uh, that worked on that thing, and Roku for uh, picking it up when Quibi went under. I really appreciate it. So there you go. So old Freckles is going to go to an award show, and this time I think I might actually be at the award show as opposed to when I was at the when I hosted the online segment of the Grammys. Jesus Christ, if you knew the amount of fucking money that I blew on that fucking suit just to be on the internet, you know, maybe that's why I snapped at that woman. You know, maybe it was a little negative juju hanging around from the haberdash over there. Um, So anyways, that was my day. Oh my God, I am like fucking mortified about that interaction I had with that woman. I gotta gotta fucking make that right. I'm gonna make it right. All right, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find this person. This is like a Tom Hanks movie, isn't it? You know, it's like a sleepless in Seattle, but it was uh, shitting on him in fucking Seattle. Accidentally shitting on him. It's got to be alliteration. Is that why they never did a sequel to Sleepless in Seattle? Married in Minnesota. Married in Minneapolis. Divorced in Denver. They could have kept going with that. No one wants to see Tom Hanks get divorced. Not Tom and Meg. How about uh, domestic... Domestic violence in Vancouver. Um, We're going to do a reboot. All right. 